Okay. Um. Welcome to Grow, and thank and thank you so much for for taking time out of your day and coming on. Yeah, of course. Talking to us. Thank you. So, so like the the first thing I wanted to ask is actually Lee first. Is um, you you co co wrote, direct, and star in this new new horror film, and what in in inspired you to want to write it and make it? Uh, I would say just like I've always well, so I was I was at film school and my favorite prof uh, professor was an ex Jesuit priest. And he would have us watch all of these classic horror films. Um, and he said that uh, the horror genre is the only genre where you could make uh, God or divinity the subject of your film and have mainstream audiences accept it. And so uh, I was always been interested in that. And then when we got this idea, uh, I've, I've always wanted to explore Catholic theology. Cruz Christian loves like, and we wanted, and we finally found the movie to do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And crew right is that how you say your name crew that's it yeah crew okay <laughs> just, i just want to make sure <laughs> so when when you first saw the script what made 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 you want to come on board oh well the the idea was amazing leroy called me and said i got a great idea for a project and he described uh deliver us and i was like this sounds incredible so I started working on a deck with him kind of giving me where it was going to go. And then when I finally read the script, uh, it was kind of like everything just fell into place. And we were like, we're off to the races. Our financier was like, this is amazing. Estonia was like, we would love to do this with you. This is something mm -hmm. you could crush. And then um, the rest is history. We packed up, went to Estonia, lived there for half a year. <laughs> oh my God. Great film and came back. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. And me, like, I'm a huge horror fan and I love like these, these kind of horror movies that have to do with like the, the antichrist and the messiah and good and evil. And like, it reminds me of films like Bless the Child and First Power and Stig, Stig Mod, Mada and stuff like that. Like, were there any re re religious type horror films that you both watch to get ready for this oh good question yeah i mean uh of course the exorcist uh there's a film that i'm just obsessed with the mission uh robert de niro it's, oh yeah you know yeah that was one for some it's not a horror film it's not but to me there's like a it's about jesuits and the spirit of it uh is was really inspiring uh but then yeah the omen is amazing rosemary's baby Rosemary's um, baby. Yeah, Ken Russell's The Devil. And then a film called Possession. It's a Polish film. Uh, I had mm -hmm. uh, had you watched that and then the actresses watched that. There's something just about that that we hope to bring to our film. And the that, was, that was when Leroy sent me Possession. So he was like, this is what I'm thinking for character in the film as a reference. And he sent it to me. And that, that movie haunted me more than any other horror movie I've ever seen. Really? Uh, the Possession, it, it's gnarly. And that's what uh, Leroy and Vera, they, they like, we got to Estonia. It was just us locked down in the world from the world. And those two rehearsed for like a month and a half straight. And like in that zone of possession, like, I wish we could have recorded that. It made a great documentary because it was fascinating. I almost swore on your podcast. Sorry. Or on this <laughs> but yeah, it was fascinating. Anyway, sorry to interrupt you, Leroy. Continue. No, no, it's perfect. Yeah. Using no. that as a way to uh, embody it and uh, the physicality of it and how we talked about how we want to portray any kind of uh, demonic possession or influence, which it seems that that film does and why it's and the mystery of it, because it's like, is she, is it it's a, is it like a schizophrenic yeah, uh, exactly. influence, or is it like actually something else? That, like, yes. grounding, like our film is like as grounded as we could make it. And that film was a great example for that you know, grounding those experiences in, in the real world and questioning, you know, what's mental, what's, uh, what's spiritual, what's physical. It was, it was a great, great reference. Yeah. yeah. Cause if you watch a lot of those films, like they always, 
they always have in the film like oh is it all in their head is it real do they need to see it shrink and you know, you know it's like it's, it, they they always have to classify the priest always has to classify if it's real or if it's in their head yeah and was there any scene that you both loved loved the most like the the most fond or you had shooting it you know the wolves right we always talk about the ice going in the ice but the wolves were cool right wolf yeah. for a few days yeah the, we had a uh, so we had zoltan the wolfman this legend and like eastern or europe in general for like like being the leader of this pack of wolves and he was the guy if you wanted to make a movie and um these things are huge. They're not dog. They don't look, you're like, Oh, wolves are dogs. No, they're, that's a different, these things are huge. And we have Leroy. <laughs> Leroy's got like, it looks like a gun. It's basically like a stick with some metal on it. And they're like these six ferocious giant wolves, like protecting meat. Like they're actually protecting meat. And, um, I was, I was nowhere close to this and I was scared to death. And I don't think Leroy really grasped the dang how dangerous the situation was. He was just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna scare off these wolves from this like <laughs> hunk of meat. And he oh, I, that God. was probably the most surreal moment. I was like, we're making a movie, and this isn't this is as safe as it possibly could be, but it's like <laughs> anything could happen right now. Like he's really putting himself on the line. But it turned out like that's honestly maybe my favorite favorite part of the movie because it brings back so many real memories like visceral memories of fear and then also of all because they are beautiful and then also i was kind of jealous because i was like you know they said there's two kinds of people like when it comes to wildlife there's ones that can interact and like uh and then there's the other that are like very skittish and jump and leroy was obviously very like in tune in one and i would never be able to do that <laughs> never done that with a straight face but he killed it <laughs> <laughs> sorry to go on a tangent i just really passionate about that bit of course yeah <laughs> and for anyone who don't know about the film can you tell us a little bit about it like what the film is about uh yeah so it's about a, a nun who uh becomes pregnant with uh twin boys uh identical twins one's the antichrist and the other is the messiah and a Jesuit priest uh, who is leaving the priesthood because he has fallen in love and his, uh, his fiance is pregnant, uh, goes on one last uh, basically mission to verify whether or not she has it's schizophrenia or if she's telling the truth. And the story goes from there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, it, that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> And, and one thing I love about horror films is the score of the film because the, the, the music definitely gets you in the mood on what's coming next. So how did you wind up finding the score? Question. We um, actually, there's a there's an agent in Los Angeles named Patty McMillan who represents great artists. And she, uh, me and Leroy were talking to her one day and she's like, I got a guy um whose sister is Hilder, who is perfect for your film. He's going out on his own. This will be his second film. He did 824's Lamb, and his name's Toti. Toti and um, he came in and um, developed this, like watched the film, looked at our temp music, and then just took it to a whole new level. When you say, Leroy? Oh, yeah. And uh, what was the, the breakthrough for it is because when he was trying to match a little bit too much of the score, it was like, no. Uh, we can't do this. What we got to do is uh, we're going to give you themes and we describe like everything we would want. And it's just, like, just create an, 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 an original piece with that in mind. And then we'll find the pieces where it needs to go. And so then he just created just original stuff that meant something to him. And then he was able to take those pieces and then craft them to match the different parts of it. Wow. Okay, guys. Thank, thank you so much for taking time out and coming on the show. It was really fun chatting. Rocco, you're you. awesome. I love your energy, man. Yeah. Thank you. You got me amped up. You got me <laughs> <laughs>